Good morning, you guys. We are off this morning. We are hooked on, and we are fixing to pull out of the campground right now and head about three hours down the road near York, Nebraska, but I believe it's a little town right before that. So it might be called Henderson. I'll have to look it up. Anyways, I'm gonna look that up, get it into the GPS, and get on the road. So, moving day again. We're getting pretty good at this. We're so used to long hauls that these little short trips are really weird, but kind of nice. I asked on one of the like full-time RV Facebook pages if the setup of this campground that we were just at was normal because that guy made me feel crazy whenever I questioned him about it. Um, and I don't think I told you guys all that story. Maybe I'll tell you that later today. But um, anyways, they were like, oh no, that's, you know, like we wouldn't like that setup either. And then I also told them about how he asked us <laughs> if we were cooking meth in our camper, if that's why we didn't want close neighbors. You guys, this is what I talked about on that Periscope I was telling you guys about. But just in case I can't post it, that was like one of the things that really ticked me off about like why would he have any reason to say that to us. Um, so anyways, it's probably because we're pipeliners or he saw a welding truck. I don't know. But regardless, we aren't giving them any more of our monies and we're gonna take our meth operation on down the road. So, east we go with our meth operation. Wish us luck. We're pulling up to this campground. Look at Paisley. <laughs> she loves it. Are you ready? Yep. Come back. Come Guys, we have trees at our camp spot. We're so excited. So they let us come on the end spot since we were staying for a couple days because most of the people that come through here just stay like one night. So we committed to staying through the weekend so they gave us this in spot which is freaking huge and amazing. Oh my gosh. And they didn't accuse us of doing meth. So we're basically like best friends. We have officially got set up for the most part on the outside. And I was gonna tell you guys how well freezers keep. A lot of people worried about, worry about um, like if their food will keep while they travel down the road. We don't switch our stuff to propane because we've never had a problem. And I like turning off the propane whenever we travel. But we just traveled three, three or three and a half hours. I think it was like three and a half hours. We've been on the road. It's 90 degrees outside and this ice that was in this freezer is still is still perfect and of course everything else is frozen but um we normally don't carry ice like on our long trips our 16 hour trips and whatnot but we can have it plugged in have it cold um and we can pull out like on our way to north dakota you guys know we stopped at Walmart and we didn't um, hook up to anything. All of our freezers were completely fine. The meat was not even soft. The only thing on that long of a trip, two days, uh, about 20 hours, is like ice cream and ice. Those are the only two things that won't make those trips. But like these trips, the ice is 100% completely solid. No water at the bottom of the bucket. So. I just wanted to let you guys know for those of you that wonder if your food will hold, if your freezer will hold, if you don't open it, you're good to go. Alright guys, so I am fixing to probably work on a blog post, but I was going to show you, because I think we were talking about it earlier, that other campground, I was going to show you the layout and explain to you kind of... Uh, like what I was talking to people about on the uh, full-time RVers like Facebook page. So 
this is the campground layout and as you can tell we were down here on 41 so no are we on 41 42 uh, I don't know one of these but basically we had to pull in like this way wait yeah he had us pull in this way so like our neighbor was facing us so like for instance our door is pretty centered centered on our camper so our front door would have been right here and if they would have had a fifth wheel or travel trailer it would have been about the same or a motorhome it would have been up here but regardless the spot in between if they would have slides on both sides like we do was only about five foot so like our awning couldn't have been out it would have touched their slide and if they had a slide it definitely would they would have neither one of them would have been able to been out so it's just a really funky layout this is one thing that I explained on the periscope but whenever we pulled in I didn't realize this like whenever we bought our spot and everything and um, I had called ahead and asked if it was okay if we had two trucks and whenever we got there I just said hey is there any way we could possibly stay longer than one night but just pay nightly and there's a guy inside that was like shaking his head and he was like we're full and I was like oh, okay I don't want to be any bother I just like was wondering you know and then the lady was like oh no we have spots I'll find a spot so that's whenever she put us there on the end and anyways they were really strict about like they put us in our spots and everything like he took us down there and like made us stop right where he wanted us and all this and after we got pulled in I was looking at the spots like looking at the hookups because there wasn't anybody else in the pull through spots those two rows of pull through spots there was no one else there whenever we first pulled up I said so does the other camper pull in this way and like our doors are facing and he's like yeah I said oh that's kind of weird and he goes well how else would you do it and I was like I kind of laughed like giggled because this is the first time we've ever ran across this in like the well we've actually owned a camper for how many years four. yeah but we started camping before that yeah, so I don't know, five years. probably like six years or so because we were camping before we started living out of our campers so we've been to a lot of campgrounds a lot of rv parks and i had never seen this before and so i said well every other place you know they're all like facing the same way which i get that it cuts down you shared water you shared an electric pedestal and then there was individual sewers so like it cuts down on the electric pedestals and stuff that they need which i get but you have to give more room in between each one because campers are used to at least five foot of their own space right so anyways and then he just said well what are you doing are you in there cooking meth like as in I didn't want neighbors because I was cooking meth so anyways that was my what I went on periscope about about pipeline discrimination and stuff we talked about it a little bit on there because they knew we were pipeline they asked us if we were and they just like basically didn't like us and clearly kind of accused us of cooking meth so the joke is now from now on whenever we move the camper we're going to talk about how we're moving our meth operation to wherever we're going so just so you know whenever we talk about that that's what we're talking about now that is officially added to my list of things to ask whenever we call ahead to campgrounds is are the sites facing one another because if you don't travel with somebody that you know that's not going to be the best setup for a lot of us it does keep you from having a sewer like right in your front yard but it would be super awkward especially with only that much space to be like door to door to somebody you didn't know so that is ultimately why we looked for another campground and we traveled on east down 80. we are now in henderson nebraska about 15 minutes from york and so we've paid here through the weekend we're gonna hang out here hopefully go into lincoln and maybe omaha and do some things in the next couple of days today is going to just be a catch-up day laundry blog post errands if we need to 
We have to see if we need to go to Walmart. Paisley. Paisley. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Sounds like. We're at Walmart getting some groceries. have come to the end of another day and I think oh yeah the camera actually died whenever we were in Walmart so that's the we went to Walmart we came home and got our ice chest ready for tomorrow had dinner and now we are off to bed I think we're gonna try to go to the zoo in Omaha tomorrow so that will be the next vlog subscribe by hitting the red button down below if you're interested in hanging out with us more and we will see you guys next time bye guys